Hello viewers, this is your history teacher, teacher Rojab Michira, who will be taking you through history and government form for topic. And the topic for discussion is United Nations. And the subtopic of discussion today is the challenges facing the United Nations. Now, remember class, we have looked at what are some of the performance or achievements of the United Nations. And now today we get to look at what are some of the challenges? What challenges did the UN face in its administering of its duties? Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We expect that we are able to state or explain the challenges facing the United Nations organization. And class, this is a Limu TV, a station we get to watch and learn. Welcome to class and let us learn. Now, if you get to look at the challenges facing the United Nations, one, one of the challenges facing United Nations organization is that member states of the United Nations organization are from different forms of government with different ideologies. What does this mean, right? So different governments have got different ideologies, right? Now, if they have got different ideolo ideologies, for example, co the, the communists we have got uh, from Russia and also the capitalist members, right? Now, these are two different, different ideologies, the communist and the... Um, the communist and also the capitalist. These are totally different ideologies, right? Also, another challenge facing the United Nations organization is that um, uh, these nations are deep -rooted, have deep-rooted regional conflicts, right? For a long time, they have been having regional conflicts. Talk of uh, Arab and Israel, right? They have got conflicts. They have been having conflicts all through. Talk of the Gulf crisis, Right? That's another conflict. Talk of the problems of Angola and, and Sudan. Angola and Sudan have been having regional conflicts for a number of years. And also the ethnic strife of Rwanda and Burundi. You know what happened in what happened in Rwanda and Burundi? Right? Now these are some of the regional conflicts that have hindered the development of the United Nations. And also class, talk of the veto power, right? We have the veto power of the big five. Right? And, uh, and earlier, earlier before, we had looked at what is the big five, R rather the, the, the veto power in the big five. We said the big five are USA, we have got China, Russia, Britain, and France, right? Now, this veto power, if a member does not agree, right, with a certain decision, then they cannot, they cannot give a conclusion, meaning, meaning, meaning if one says yes and the others disagree, then they can't meet, they, they, can't meet, they can't make a, a resolution for that. Meaning, this uh, veto power has really been, been a stalemate, or rather it has delayed the decision-making process of the United Nations. And also, class, there is this, there is this issue of loyalty to other international organizations. For example, we have got non-aligned movement, right? We have got EGAD, we have got ECOWAS, right? You see now, these others, the, the, the members are aligned or, or other, they have, they have taken their loyalty to other international organizations. This has greatly hindered also the, 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 the development or the, the, the performance of the United Nations. So that's another challenge of the United Nations organization. Another, another, another challenge is that uh, the issue of na nationalism, right? Member states are independent. Nations that pledge allegiance to themselves before recognizing other international bodies. Meaning, the issue of national, uh, nationalism, they put the, 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 their country interests first compare, uh, in regard to the United Nations, right? So their interests come first before those other, before those other, before those other uh, international organizations. Another challenge and a major challenge in this is that the United Nations it lacks its own machinery. And, and, and as I studied the, the topic, I've looked at, um, I've really explained what that means. Meaning, it does not have its army. It solely depends on the army from those other member states, right? So for example, if, if, for example, if, a, if, if a country fails to give its army, then the issue of peacekeeping will, will, will be a settlement. Good, and also finally, the challenge is that the formation of the Afro, Afro-Asian Latin American, right? block good this is the counter this has countered the big five remember the big five had the veto power and now the afro-asian latin america block has also 
has also developed, right? Or, or, or rather, uh, has, has also been uh, been made. This has countered the big five now in decision making. Now this made the working of the UN difficult, as they often voted as a block. Now the uh, the, the, the Afro Asian Latin American, they voted as a block, and also the veto power voted as a block. Now class, those are some of the challenges that the UN has faced. Now class, for our assignment, can we get to discuss the challenges of the UN? And also for our reference, can we get to refer to uh, Volvi World, History and Government, Book for Oxford University Press, seventh edition. And a class, as always, this is a Limit TV, your favorite learning channel, where you get to watch and learn. You get co you can contact us via our SMS line, 0723-144259. And also, we have got classes in our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and like also our videos. at a limit, That is a Limit TV, and also via Facebook, a Limit TV Kenya, and also in a, at YouTube, at a Limit TV underscore Kenya. Elimu TV, a station where you get to watch and learn.